You'll never wonder about check engine lights again with this device. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here in my garage checking out this. This is the MUCAR CDE900 onboard diagnostic tool and it really all revolves around that connection. That is the OBDI2, the onboard diagnostic interface for all vehicles manufactured in the last 25, 30 years or so. And it started with just the OBD, which was introduced in 1968 by VW of all companies. And then in 1991, California made the OBDI law that made every car required to have this interface. It was a slight variation. And then the EU came along in 2000 2001 and said, it's a great idea, we're going to do our own. That's the EOBD. Now this device supports all of them, which is great. Now, most generally people refer to it as OBD2, and you're looking at that and you're like, um, I don't think I have that on my car, and the answer is yeah, you do. So, I have my Mazda CX-50, no, sorry, <laughs> CX-5, getting a little ahead of myself there. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug this into the OBD interface on my car and we'll show you what some of the things it can do are. But before we get there, let me just tell you a little bit more about it. So the unit supports 94 auto brands, up to 99% of all models on the road are supported by this, including US, EU, and Asian car manufacturers. It also works in 16 operating languages and it can pull the VIN number out of the car. So if you're not sure if you have the right VIN number on your vehicle, this can help you identify it through the computer system in your car pretty slick. Now, there's an advanced mode to this that you pay a little extra more and that gives you access to things like the ABS braking and SRS airbags and ECM engine and TCM transmission diagnostics. That's really what your mechanic has access to, but this gives you all the basics of that OBD interface. Super cool. Not only that, it's just actually a little Android device. So let me get back to the main screen here. So it's an Android device with a nice, big, bright four inch screen. So it actually uses Wi-Fi for connectivity and firmware updates. And the company promises free software updates for life, which is great. And then on the bottom, there is a little hidden access space that gives you USB-C for charging. So obviously has a battery and it has a micro SD slash TF card slot. So if you want to be able to save information, you can just write it straight to the card. That's not included. You'll have to pick up your own. They're like 10 bucks at Target, super easy. And there's a little reset button there too. And that's pretty much everything. There's a button on the side for on off. And then everything else you do is from the control on the front, which obviously is directions and back and okay. And it's a touch screen. So it's actually surprisingly easy to work with. So having said all of that, let's plug this thing in and see how it works. First off, let me show you where that OBDI is located on my Mazda. So we go down here to the right and behind these two switches is the interface we seek. All right, so we're in my Mazda and the system's running and you can see it's identified the vehicle and it is indicating that I am getting 13.92 volts out of my battery while we're running. That looks good. So let's see what we can do. So first off, I can read codes, but remember, I don't have any error codes, so I don't have any issues, which is a good thing. So that's not particularly exciting, but let's look at live data. This is probably the most interesting section and what makes it particularly interesting is that it is literally live data. So if I accelerate, you can see the numbers change. And not only that, but I can get it in graphic form if I tap on it. And then when I accelerate, you can see how in this case, the absolute throttle position is adjusting. So if I was saying something like, huh, you know, my acceleration goes up even though I don't touch the gas pedal, this is where I could actually monitor that to see if the throttle sensor is actually changing or not. So that's pretty cool. Let's back up and I'll show you there is a lot of information that it's tracking. I mean, there's just a lot going on in a car nowadays with so many different computers and everything. If I wanted to, I could save it as a report and then I can just save it as a PDF 
and then later I can plug the unit into my computer via that USB-C cable and grab this report which I could then of course actually print out and then take to my mechanic to have them help me diagnose issues that I might have. Now I don't have the O2 sensor so it just says not sported and then if we go to other diagnostics and then I do onboard monitor it's more of the same but this time you can see Mazda is not really good at coming up with the labels for things so this is stuff that probably a Mazda mechanic would love but for me as a driver and as a home vehicle owner not sure how much value this has but it is interesting to scroll through it and see what it's showing so there's all of that and then if we go back here to other diagnostics you can see there's the EVAP system test and not, let's see this test conditions are not met that is something you'd probably want to go onto the MUCAR website to learn more about and then DTC lookup which is the um, error codes basically you can look up any of the hundreds of possible error codes and then let's go back here and I can go to report and you can see again here's the information on my vehicle but we already did a report so let's just go here and this is the upgrade area so if I really wanted to look at things like my ABS braking system and get all those analytics or the SRS which is all the airbags and everything then I could pay for the upgrade and then I would have access to all of those additional diagnostics but since I am not a mechanic and I'm not working on my car myself this is something that for me doesn't make sense so that's pretty much everything all the interesting pieces of it and it is pretty darn interesting if you know a lot about your car you're going to know even more and if you're having weird diagnostic problems you can just leave this plugged in and every time something strange happens just generate a report and it will actually have that data great now let me jump back on camera I'm kind of lucky right now because I don't have a lot going on with my car that's not in spec so there wasn't a lot to see but it's really really helpful if you're having that check engine light come on or something or you just want to actually have live data streaming you can save all of that information you could even print it out and take it to the mechanic when you're going to the shop or if you work yourself on the car well obviously this is a great tool to figure out what's going on and how do I fix it really really can save you a lot of money so we do need to talk about the price but before we get to the price I'm gonna ask if you could subscribe to my channel click or a tap on that subscribe button and then a click or a tap on the little bell icon to turn on notifications and hey while you're at it if you don't mind go ahead and give me a thumbs up I appreciate those likes great this is the MUCAR CDE 900 onboard diagnostic tool and it's $69.95 at MUCARTECH Dot com. Don't forget, if you want to add the additional access to the ABS braking, SRS airbags, ECM engine, and TCM transmission diagnostics, you'll have to pay a $40 upgrade to get it to the pro level. Even without that, though, this is really, really interesting information. So, that's all I got. I'm going to drive around again, so I'll catch you in my next video.